with the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County to learn all about the science of SpongeBob. Why, sir, I'm flattered. We all know that SpongeBob is an imaginary cartoon. Imagination. But how similar are these iconic characters to their ocean counterparts? Let's ask some of the museum's top scientists to learn more about what these characters are like in real life. This is the most exciting thing to ever happen in the history of history. Since he's so excited, we'll start with SpongeBob. What's the spongy fella actually like? Sponges come in all shapes and sizes. They are the simplest of all the animals that are multicellular. They don't have hearts and lungs or kidneys. We don't even have a vertebrae. If they get broken into pieces, they can regenerate themselves. Some species are reported to live like over 200 years, and some of them can get very large. Yeah. SpongeBob resembles something like a synthetic sponge in a kitchen. Ooh! Yeah! Ooh! A real live sponge doesn't quite look like that at all. So how about Gary? Do snails really have those long eyes? Yes and no. So most marine snails have their eyes at the bottom of eye stalks, and then they have tentacles. But there are a group of snails that have their eyes at the very end of stalks, and they're sort of like googly eyes. The silliest snail eyes you could ever see. And they're a group called strombids. Ah, no, boy! They're so silly looking. It's fantastic. What about Squidward? Squidward has features that look like a squid and look like an octopus. Octopus means eight arms. Squidward has a different number. They have roundish bodies, and they have suction cups on all of their arms, whereas squid have fins, have two long catching tentacles, which octopuses do not. Oh, cheer up, squid. It could be worse. Yeah, you could be bald and have a big nose. I would be an octopus if I were a sea creature, because they're very smart. My very own fan. They can learn, they can solve problems, they can change color, they can do all kinds of crazy things. Impressive indeed. And how about Sandy? Squirrels can't really live underwater, can they? Squirrels do not live underwater. There are definitely marine mammals in the oceans, our dolphins and whales, seals, but no squirrels. Squirrels are strictly above ground. Good old dry land. Ah, Lanch man. Check back in for more Science of SpongeBob, brought to you by the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County and Nickelodeon.